Okay. Um, all right, here goes uh, next movie. So we saw last time that this thing worked. So, uh, you know, I've got this hit test going. By the way, if you want to know how to do something in hit test, all you got to do is just right click on it and go view help. And it should open up a help screen that will uh, let you know more about what you're looking at. So in this case, it opens up the action script dictionary and shows you um, the hit test method and it talks about how it's used. You can read and it talks about the parameters and it even at the bottom will give an example of how it's used and um, you know in this case they just put the, the you know different ways that you can use it. They just even put just the um, the movie clip name and that's it. That's unbelievable. Um, or you know uh, the more advanced ways of doing it here at the bottom. I can't get the screen to show you that but um, so anyway, we've got this trace hit now, and so now we got to we got to change a few things here. So I'm going to comment out the trace hit, and I'm going to put a piece a comment right here that says, uh, "This is collision detection." Okay, so if this hits with the cowboy, what we want to do is remove remove movie clip with a capital M capital C all one word remove movie clip and then inside the parentheses you put this okay so now when the cowboy hits the the um, uh, cows they should disappear and it doesn't do it all the time because um, the interpreter is working really hard. The flash interpreter is working really hard, and sometimes it just doesn't register. So that could that could ruin your game, or that could be okay for your game and just kind of built in a little bit of difficulty or frustration for the user. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or not. There's other ways that you can do collision detection, and hit test is a very old method, and I don't know if it's the best. It, it's easy though, so it's it's something I like to teach first because it's kind of easy and. You could get it, you to do a game really quickly by using this hit test method. All right, so we want to remove movie clip this. So that that worked, and now we need to do a score. So we could say um, before we do that, before we remove the movie clip, let's do a score. So you could say the score plus plus, okay, or plus equal one score plus equal one so that could add to the score and then you could say score underscore text right dot text box equals the score all right so what did I do here I just took a variable called the score and incremented it by one if I have a hit all these things will happen. If I have a hit right here, if this test, if this evaluates to true, right, if we've hit the cowboy, a variable called the score will increment by one, and then a text box, a dynamic text box by the name of score underscore text will be set to be equal to whatever the score is. All right, now I don't have those things yet, so I need to make those things. So I go back to um, layer two on the stage, and I need to set up a score box. So I'll go over here. And the first thing I'll do is get my text tool, um, and I'll set my font size to 14, and I'm going to set first of all static text, and I'll just write score, right? So there's the score. That's a static text box right there. Okay. Now I need another text box, so I'll get the text tool again, except this time it's going to be dynamic text. Make sure you don't have this selected when you change to dynamic text, or it'll change this to dynamic text. And now what I'm going to do is click and drag, right? And I can even set the alignment in here. I'm going to prefer to set the alignment to align right, and I'm going to even put a zero in there to start with, okay? So there it is. There's my score dynamic text box, right? If you select it, you can see when you deselect it, it gets a dotted line around it. When you select it, you'll see that it, in the window down here in the property window, it should say dynamic text, and this is where you set the instance name. 
So I'm going to call it score underscore txt and hit enter to make sure it takes. So when you select it, you should see it say score underscore text. Make sure you have black set for your color or some other color, not white. If you have a white background, you don't want white text, right? And and there we have it. So now if I play my game, you see there's the score set to zero and now it should increment the score and it's not. I've got an error message that says NAN or not a number. So uh, NAN. So I'm going to need to see why is it doing that. Well, score underscore text dot text is sets to the score but the score variable has not been initiated. So I'm going to go before this function, before the calmove function, and I'm going to declare the variable. Var, var the score equals zero, right? Var the score equals zero. All right, and put a semicolon in there. All right, that looks good. And now if I play my game, you'll see that now the variable has been properly initiated. We can start incrementing the score. Now, and you'll see that this works pretty good. All right, and now it's keeping score. And, uh, every, and then I'm removing certain movie clips from the stage when I get a hit. All right, so there it is. I made a variable called the score. You've got a hit test function here. This, this is collision detection and score. All right, so score it gets incremented. The text box gets set to the score, and then I remove the cow. And then all this functioning off of this hit test if statement right here. Okay, all right, so that's the uh, end of the second movie. In the next movie, we're going to add a sound piece. Underscore TXT.